Hello. I'm wearing tracksuit pants under my dress. I just thought you should know. Work in progress Wednesday. Last week on the loom I had a scarf in green and sort of autumny colours, courtesy of Bendigo Woolen Mills Tropical Fish, which is the name of a yarn colour and not actual animal cruelty. And it's done. And it's off the loom. And I'm very organised because I've actually pressed this this morning before I showed it to you, which I don't, I don't normally bother. <laughs> no offence, but I don't normally bother. Um, as I said, it's subtle. I really like it. I like the green with the autumny colours. I'm going to show you the whole length, even though there's not a huge amount of difference, until you get to this end, where I've got a feature, feature stripes, oops, and a misbehaving fringe. Hang on while I tidy that up. Feature stripes. So that was a nice, subtle, subtle, gentle weave with some subtle, gentle colours in it that I have pressed because organised. So I'll just roll that up again. And then I showed you some hot pink yarn and some yellow, orange and red yarn and said I was going to do a very loud clasped weft, which I did do. It's not finished. I haven't wet finished it yet, so it's still got the ends on and I haven't dealt with the fringe. And it's in my bag and I'm not that organised. There we go. And that is how, th and this is how that came out. It is so loud. Look how loud that is. Let me get that in the sunlight a little bit. So it's still got the ends on it and I haven't done anything with the fringe. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the fringe. I think I'm going to leave it loose because I thought about twisting it and for some reason it just doesn't look like it would sit well with a twisted fringe. I mean the, the fringe would sit well but I don't think it would suit this which is really loud. It's quite a short colour shift on the, um, on the acrylic there so you get these sort of staggered, staggered half stripes I suppose. But that is done nearly. I say done. I've got to um, wash it because I've still got the ends on it. And cut the fringe. I think it's going to be a loose fringe on this one. Did I finish saying that earlier? I can't remember. I meant to. But I think this is just going to be a short, loose fringe. Maybe about that long. So that has got to go into a bath. Wet finishing is just giving it a wash. Now, do you remember how I've been saying how organised I am? I'm not. Because I was going to have something warped up on the loom to show you what the next project's going to be. And I've got the yarn ready, but I haven't actually done the bit where you put it on the loom. It's been a morning where nothing really happened that was supposed to happen. That's going to be the title of my autobiography. But here are the yarns that I'm using for the next one. I've got some leftover, oops, with a bit of thread in it, Bendigo Woolen Mills Galaxy in Coal. This is a wool and bamboo mix, so it's got a little bit of a shine to it, and it's very soft. And that is going to be some stripes in the warp that will go with, I haven't got enough hands, this, which is Annette Erickson Frost in Black Rainbow. And I don't know, it's very shiny. And it's got sewing thread on it. Everything in my life has sewing thread on it. There we go. Try that without the sewing thread on it. Not that you can see it, it was on the back. So those two are going to be together. This is just going to be in the warp. Wind, I don't need you currently. Um, I think that was a pun, it was unintentional. So that's going to be stripes in the warp. This is going to be some stripes in the warp and also the weft so that there's some little patches of just the pure colour and then some sort of mixed up colours. The colour change on this isn't very long so it's um, it's quite a sort of a choppy colour change. I just said. Do I have any progress on the cross stitch? No, I don't. I've been weaving. I've been weaving a lot. Um, not as much as I could be, obviously, because otherwise I'd have more stuff finished. And the other problem that I have now is that Two Point Campus came out at midnight last night. I can download it right now, and I'm gonna. Um, it's a video game from the makers of Two Point Hospital. I've been looking forward to it for a long time. So I'm gonna get this, lo this loom warped up, and then maybe by next week I'll have woven something with these, but then maybe I'll have built a couple of universities. Who's to say what's the better way to spend my time? Don't tell me what the better way to spend my time is. I like video games. But that is all I have for you this week. Um, so hopefully next week I can show you something spectacular with these. This is a great metallic because it's so soft. Metallics tend to be a bit scratchy and, and scratchy, doubly scratchy, twice as scratchy as you would like them to be. Um, but this is a nice soft one because it's got a, a wool coating on it. I don't know if you can see. I've used it before in a pink and purple colorway and silver. This is the rainbow one, and it's a little bit fluffy. I'm going to continue to show you, just in case you can see it. I can't see without leaning right into the screen, which I don't want to do. I don't want to do that. I don't need to see myself that close up. You have a lovely rest of your week. I'll let you get back to your day. 
um, I will see you next week with hopefully something shiny to show you. Take care. Bye.